every discipline has to follow architectural model. In this case, I'm representing structural model, but it could be any model, any discipline. So the point here is that this video demonstrates you on how to follow the architectural model. So you navigate to the insert, you navigate to the Revit links, and from here, let's link the architectural model. And if you start modeling somewhere from away from your origin or next to your origin or anywhere else, your architectural model may, may not exactly position correctly because you didn't link in the first place and you didn't draw on top of it. So if you hurried up, um, putting all your models, every details and so forth, uh, without linking the architectural model first, you might need to move your entire model. But in reality, if you didn't have anything here, in this case, I'm just demonstrating the both workflows. But if you didn't have anything here, it would have been very simple because this is how you start. You link the architectural model, you move your project origin, you move your survey point, and then your model is um, your link model and your current drawing area is overlapped. The next step that you're going to do is just click on the link model, click on the shared, and acquire shared coordinates from the architectural model because this way you're able to get those information directly from the architectural model and if you do the project node and true node it will rotate perfectly uh, in your model as well if i go back to the true node what happened here is that i have two grids which i hurried up in this model if i didn't have anything i could have easily just deleted these uh, i mean like i wouldn't have anything here then i would have just drawn directly my structural model directly on the or any other discipline directly on the architectural model and this way i ensure i make sure 100 percent everything will be aligned but if i already draw something here i have no other choice than moving this to make sure that all the grid lines everything is matching perfectly so i can make sure that my models are actually matching with all the disciplines otherwise they will never match so this way i know that this will now match perfectly. And if I just save and close this model, I can easily open the architecture model and see how does this work in the architecture model. And I can link the structural into the architecture model and make sure that everything is aligned. So I will just close this. Do you want to learn more? We prepared an exclusive content for you. So if you go to hub.integratedbeam.com, you'll unlock a world of knowledge for BIM, Revit, and similar products. But if you want to take it to the next level and have right solution for you whenever you need, so you don't waste time, consider our BIM consulting services. This way, we will be right away there for you whenever you need, help you to standardize your workflows, get the best practices for you, and help you to solve the issues on demand. Join us today. This is the right way to grow and scale your business. I will just close this and I will open the architectural model. So now the architectural model is open. It is the same way. So project node and true node is all set up in the architectural model. Now I can come and link directly the structural model, which is just save. I can link it into my model. And this way I know that everything is aligning perfectly and all the discipline models will be aligning perfectly from there on. So these are the steps that we need to make sure that every model is following the architectural model in order not to have any issues. If you like this video and more videos like this, subscribe to our channel because there will be many more. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on.